and pushes on. Leaving the female king and the eggs inside her for the scavengers. Life in the wild is a series of harsh realities. But for every tragedy, there is new hope. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's huge. Don't, don't go there. Okay. Ram and Gauri have been notified of another female king, this one building a nest in a nearby tract of forest. Perfect. With a tagged female gone, they put the new female on 24 hour surveillance hoping to witness the rise of the next generation. With the monsoons coming, the Mother King's new brood will need shelter. She's the only snake in the world that builds a nest for her eggs, piling leaves onto a mound as tall as one meter high. That is so methodical, and that's why you have this symmetry. When she finished that side, she came exactly to the opposite, opposite side. side. When yeah. she finished that side, she came to the other side of the nest, and now she's coming this side. It must be perfect for the eggs to survive. High enough to avoid flooding, but sheltered enough to maintain the right temperature. The eggs must incubate at 28 degrees Celsius. It can take more than 12 hours of rigorous work. The mother king will stay with the nest, standing guard, unable to hunt, until her eggs are ready to hatch. She could go as many as three months without a meal. Meanwhile, our tagged male snake is still on the move and has wandered once again into a human world. He is drawn here on the trail of a potential meal. A rat snake stalking a rodent right into someone's front yard. Nothing will interrupt this hunt. Twisting and turning, he mauls the victim, pumping it full of venom. Witnessing this hunt in human territory confirms a suspicion Ram and others have held for some time. We're learning an awful lot by radio tracking for the first time. And we always suspected that they spend plenty of time in rice fields, and that's where they find their rat snakes, because that's where the rat snakes find rats. But now we've really proved it with what we found out. Humans attract rats. Rats attract rat snakes. And rat snakes attract king cobras. Still, Despite increased contact with the serpents, human deaths are not on the rise. It is the king cobras who are more at risk. But as the dry season wanes, the kings have more immediate concerns. The monsoons of the Western Ghats are legendary dropping almost nine meters of rain annually in some places. And everyone must adapt to the monsoons. People, animals, even the king. The deluge batters the female king's nest. If the water rises too high, all her efforts will be lost and all of her babies could die. For months, torrential rains soak the Western Ghats. But millions of years of evolution have taught this mother well. The center of the nest stays dry and the eggs are safe. Finally, after 100 days, the baby snakes are ready to hatch triggering the hungry mother's departure. She is, after all, a snake eater, and no doubt hungry enough to eat her own young. So instinct drives her away in search of an unrelated victim. Deep in the nest, 
Using a sharp, tiny tooth, a new king tears the leathery egg casing and breathes its first breath. They emerge one by one over the course of a few days. 25 snakes in all. Armed with a predatory hunger even at birth. They will remain by the nest for 24 hours to absorb their nutritious yolks. Sustenance for the hard days ahead. They are less than a day old, already powerfully venomous, but still vulnerable. Left on their own, most of the babies will be taken by predators such as raptors, mongooses, even other snakes. Or they will die of starvation. Only one or two of the 25 snakes will survive to adulthood. And even then, nothing is guaranteed. For Ram, after 37 years of studying the King Cobra, the tagging project has shown him that he's just beginning. I wish I could say I know a lot about King Cobras after all these years. To be honest with you, you know, we've barely scratched the surface. So far, the research project has been a success and has provided a rare glimpse into the secret world of the king. What we've learned so far is pretty amazing stuff. We know now the kind of resting places they prefer in, in caves. They go in caves and holes an awful lot. They climb a lot, which we suspected before, but now we've really proved that as well. They've also found that the male moved much farther than the female. Before the female was killed, she traveled around five kilometers. But over the first seven months, the tagged male snake has moved more than 75 kilometers, and he shows no signs of slowing down. Well, we had a sighting recently, and he looks in very good shape, which means he has been feeding, he has been drinking, has been living well. We were always a little bit worried. This is the first time King Cobra has ever been radio tracked. We don't want him to feel as though he's being chased by us. We want him to do everything naturally. But there are troubling discoveries as well. Researchers believe the male snake is moving in search of new territory. But it seems he's learned that human habitat is a good source of food, shelter, and warmth. And he's twice made his new home in our world. Simply relocating snakes away from humans is not the answer. But the solution remains a mystery. One thing is certain, as people expand deeper into the wilderness, something is bound to give. What we're looking at is a mosaic of forest, paddy fields, and plantations, and that's King Cobra country. Year by year, the agricultural land is expanding right into the forest. King Cobras really depend on this land as well. The Western Ghats have already seen their share of destruction. In the past century, undisturbed forest in the Ghats has dwindled from about 100,000 to a meager 13,000 square kilometers. Now a biodiversity hotspot, it is one of the most endangered ecosystems on Earth. India has lost about 80% of its rainforest, and that's our fear, you know, that the rest of it could go, that we'll lose most of the king cobra's habitat. But the most intriguing discoveries from the tagging program have also been the most shocking. Since the project began, male kings have killed two pregnant female king cobras within a 20 kilometer radius. The researchers don't yet know whether the killers were rogue males on a rampage or if the brutal killings of pregnant females is common among wild kings. The answers will only come with continued research.
and the success of this pilot project will go a long way in advancing the study of the king. Here it is there? No. no. An autopsy of the dead female confirms that she was indeed pregnant. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, there's one more. Carrying 17 eggs when she met her untimely end. She is laid to rest with a royal funeral pyre, a fiery homage to this pioneering queen of kings whose sacrifice has given us an unsettling new glimpse into the King Cobra's merciless world. She was supposed to build the nest and get the next generation ready, but she ended up here. At least for now, one new generation has survived. But even for these deadliest of creatures, survival is a brutal battle. Each will carry the time-toughened mantle of a true survivor. A crown prince destined to reign over one of India's last Edens. <laughs>